Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta. And let's discuss today how to run chi square test in Jamon. I'll be using the data set. This is given on your screen. The data consists of age category 1. And the second is last voting done or not. Yes or no. We run chi square test when we are having two categorical variables and the data has been captured on frequency. See, this is a frequency that how many in the age group of 18 to 30 voted, uh, voted in last election? Yes or no. This is a frequency count which we are considering. What can be my research hypothesis? The proportion of voting in age group above 60 is more than the proportion of voting age group below 30 years. This can be my research hypothesis. Now I will convert this research hypothesis into statistical hypothesis. There is no significant association in voting and age. Alternatively, there is a significant association in voting and age. Now the results of this chi-square, I will just copy it from here. And what will be my interpretation? It will, it will be based on this p-value. As a p-value of the chi-square, this is 97.657, this chi-square value, its p-value is less than 0, 0.00, which is less than 5% level of significance. We reject null hypothesis, which means that there is an association between voting and age group. So there is some pattern which has been detected. Okay. Now, you can activate rows and columns percentage from here and you can copy this result in the word file so this is the result so in 18 to 30 there are 1155 people who have not voted and 524 who have voted Similarly, in 31 to 45, 1769 has not voted, 1044 has voted, 46 to 60, 1665 has not voted, 1092 has voted, above 60, 1180 has not voted, 1020 has voted. Now, the interpretation can be done row-wise, that is, row-wise, that is like this way, or column-wise, that is, this way. Now it is completely the prerogative of the researcher that the interpretation the researcher wants to write row wise or column wise. So I will show you both the ways. The first we will write the interpretation column wise. So if it if we say that this is a column of those who have not voted then it can be seen that out of 5, 6, 7, 9 respondents who did not vote 20 percentage this one are in the age group of 80 to 18 to 30 30.7 30 percentage are in the age group of 31 to 45 28.9 are in the age group of 46 to 60 and 20.5 are in the age group of about 60 years similarly you can write for another column it can be seen from the above table that out of 36080 respondents who voted 4.2 percentage are in the age group of 18 to 30, 28.4 percentage are in the age group of 31, point, 31 to 45 years, 29.7 percentage who did not uh, who voted are in the age group of 46 to 60, 27.7 percentage are in the age group above 60 years. So this is an interpretation which is done column wise. Now you can also write the interpretation row wise. So you can see the blue boxes. So we will consider the total this time 1679, 2813, 2757, 220. Now how will I did, write the interpretation? It can be seen that out of 1679 respondents in the age group 8, 18 to 30 years, 68 percentage did not vote and 31.2 percentage voted. What is the difference between row percentage and column percentage? Let us understand. This is the total of row wise. So this percentage 
It is 11, 11 pi, pi divided by 1679 will give you 688.8. In previous case, 5769 was a total of all columns 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this 20 percentage is 1155 divided by 5769. 1769 divided by 5769 is 30.7 percentage. Okay. So, you can write this as out of 167.9 respondents in the age group 18 to 30 years, 68.8 percentage did not vote and 31.2 percentage voted. Out of 2813 respondents in the age group of 31 to 45, 62.9 percentage did not vote and 37.1 percentage voted. Out of 275 percentage respondents in the age group 46 to 60, 60.4 percentage did not vote, 39.6 percentage voted. Out of 220 respondents in the age group above 60 years, 53.6 percentage did not vote and 46.4 percent, 46.4 percentage voted. You can also get the graph. You click on bar plot and you can see you can get side by side. If you want the counts to be represented, it will give you counts. If you want the percentages, it will give you according to the percentages. So you want percentages within columns or rows. Both are possible. Okay. So this is side by side bar chart. Same chart, you can get it stacked also. So for more videos on Jamavi, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos of Jamovi. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the like button.